Imagine a world teeming with dinosaurs, a world where colossal creatures roamed the earth, dominating the landscapes with their sheer size and power. It was a time when the continents were still forming, shifting and colliding in a dynamic dance that shaped the very face of our planet. In this prehistoric realm swam a fish unlike any other, the Coelacanth. This ancient fish with its distinctive lobed fins was a marvel of evolutionary design. This ancient creature, we believed, vanished from the face of the earth alongside the dinosaurs, lost to time some 66 million years ago. Its fossilized remains were all that was left, a silent testament to a bygone era. The Coelacanth, relegated to the dusty annals of paleontology, became synonymous with extinction. It was a symbol of a world long gone, a chapter closed in the Book of Life. But then, in a twist of fate that rewrote the textbooks, the impossible happened. In 1938, a living coelacanth was discovered off the coast of South Africa, a find that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The coelacanth, against all odds, was found alive and well in the waters of our modern world. It was as if a ghost from the past had come back to life, swimming in the depths of the ocean. It was an astonishing resurrection, a biological enigma that challenged our understanding of evolution and extinction. Scientists were baffled and intrigued, eager to study this living fossil. The Kelacanth story is a testament to the enduring power of life and the boundless mysteries hidden within our planet's depths. It reminds us that the ocean, with its vast and unexplored territories, holds secrets beyond our wildest imaginations. It is a tale that captures the imagination and reminds us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, life finds a way. The Coelacanth's survival is a beacon of hope, a symbol of resilience in the ever-changing tapestry of life on Earth. Uh, the Coelacanth's lineage is an ancient one, stretching back over 400 million years. This remarkable fish has witnessed the rise and fall of countless species, surviving through epochs of dramatic change. Its ancestors swam in the seas when the first vertebrates ventured onto land. These early pioneers of the ocean were among the first to explore the uncharted territories of the ancient world. Fossil records paint a vivid picture of these ancient creatures, showcasing their distinctive lobe-finned anatomy. These fossils, preserved over millennia, offer a glimpse into a world long gone. These fins, unlike those of most fish, are fleshy and bony, almost limb-like in appearance. This unique structure suggests a significant evolutionary adaptation, hinting at the Coelacanth's role in the transition from sea to land. This unique feature hinted at a fascinating evolutionary link. It provided crucial insights into how life on Earth evolved, bridging the gap between aquatic and terrestrial life forms. Scientists believe that creatures like the Coelacanth were part of the lineage that eventually gave rise to the first land-dwelling vertebrates, our distant ancestors. This connection underscores the Coelacanth's importance in the grand tapestry of life. For millions of years, Coelacanths thrived in various marine environments, their fossils found across the globe. These discoveries highlight the widespread presence and adaptability of this ancient fish. Then, abruptly, their traces vanished from the fossil record around the time of the dinosaur's demise. This sudden disappearance puzzled scientists and led to many theories about their fate. This disappearance led scientists to believe that the Coelacanth story had come to an end. For decades it was thought to be a relic of the past, a species lost to the annals of history. Little did they know that a chapter was yet to be written. The Coelacanth, once presumed extinct, would soon re-emerge, surprising the scientific community and reigniting interest in this living fossil. The year was 1938, a time when the world was on the brink of monumental change. In the sleepy port town of East London, South Africa, Marjorie Courtney Latimer, a young and passionate museum curator, received a peculiar phone call that would alter the course of natural history. The local fishing boat captain, a seasoned seafarer, reported an unusual catch, something he had never encountered in all his years on the water. Intrigued and filled with a sense of urgency, Latimer hurried to the docks, her heart racing with anticipation to examine the mysterious creature. There, amidst the day's haul of ordinary fish, lay a large blue-scaled fish, 
unlike anything she'd ever seen or read about in her studies. It was an astonishing one and a half meters long and weighed over 50 kilograms with powerful fins and thick enamel-like scales that shimmered in the sunlight. Recognizing its potential significance, Latimer quickly arranged for the fish to be transported back to the museum, knowing that this could be a groundbreaking discovery. She pored over her reference books, desperately trying to identify the strange creature, but despite her extensive knowledge, she found no match. In a stroke of luck and determination, she reached out to her friend, Professor James Leonard Briley Smith a renowned ichthyologist sending him a detailed sketch of the fish. Little did she know she had stumbled upon a zoological marvel, a living fossil that would captivate the scientific community and the world for generations to come. Section 4. A Race Against Time, Identification and Global Sensation. Professor Smith, upon receiving Latimer's sketch, was astounded. He immediately recognized the fish as a kelecanth a creature he had only ever seen in fossil form. He wired back to Latimer, urging her to preserve the specimen at all costs. The discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. It was as if a dinosaur had been found roaming the Amazon. The Calacanth, once thought to be long extinct, was thrust into the global spotlight. The search was on to find another specimen, to confirm that this was not a one-off anomaly. Professor Smith dedicated himself to the task, embarking on a relentless 14-year quest that would take him across the Indian Ocean. Section 5. Doubling the Wonder. A second species emerges. Years later, in 1952, Smith's persistence paid off. A second coelacanth was caught off the coast of the Comoros Islands, thousands of miles from the first discovery. This confirmed that the first find was not a fluke. Coelacanths were indeed alive and well, albeit extremely rare. Then, in 1997, another astonishing discovery came to light. A marine biologist working in Indonesia stumbled upon a second species of coelacanth. This Indonesian coelacanth, though similar in appearance to its African counterpart, had distinct genetic differences. The discovery highlighted the remarkable resilience of this ancient lineage surviving in isolated pockets across the globe. The two known species of coelacanth offered scientists an unprecedented opportunity to study these living fossils in their natural habitat, unlocking the secrets of their remarkable survival.